Right, folks. Here is the port in Dubrovnik. This is King's Landing. There is the closing scene of Game of Thrones right there. This is Why do you think I came all this way? Welcome to King's Landing, my dear. All right, guess where Debbie went? Game of Thrones. Official merchandise center. What do you think of Dubrovnik crew? <laughs> and here is the gem. Went by too fast. Don't you agree, Double D? Yes. Yeah. Too fast. My name is Dario Chanic from Dubrovnik, Croatia, and I look at Quantum Fly channel. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Beautiful. In the world, in Dubrovnik, this place here is the last line protection in Dubrovnik. This wall here? No, no, this place here. Oh, this okay. Area. So what was the war over? What, what was the, What was it about? Uh, what was Yugoslavia, the reason? Yugoslavia is broken, but uh, the the real reason is political. Political, like, yeah. Everywhere, like everywhere, in yeah. Russia, like in the here, in the, here in yeah. Political. Yeah. This is a very old church. Oh wow. So we're are we moving? We are moving toward old, old town. No, 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 no. Okay. Old town is opposite. That side. way. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. But natural resources, if any, are here. Uh, generally, it's not usually you see later from the bridge uh, that you have in the town many green, green locations like, like in the road. Mm -hmm. You go and it's very safe. I mean, that is just a sheer cliff right there, huh? Yes. Hey, this reminds me of Utah. Yes. You ever been to Utah? Like, no, I yeah. mean, I've been... Very, very rocky look. I, I've been uh, 10 times in USA. I've been in uh, Miami, Florida, uh, okay. Jacksonville. Yeah, we're in the Orlando area. They're Disney. Fort Lauderdale. Before the history first, the public pass, like Italian pass, for the after that from the villa and uh, of course before it, like in everywhere important that you have house close to the water for animal. Vacation home. Yeah. yeah. All the Borovnik and big big area around and uh, some part Bosnia around in water from this river. This, okay. This river is named Ombla and going to open sea to Adriatic Sea. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's flowing toward the Adriatic. Dry water. Dry oh, it's that clean, huh? Yes. Look at that, guys. Anybody want a drink? 
That's coming right out of the river. It says it's pure spring water. Oh. You can't go down and take water. Fresh water Before, a couple of years, you see the, 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 the green small building in the mound? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That is new, last couple of years. Before, you see the oh. water. Now, inside, it's system to cleaning. Example, it was in seven, ten days, five days and it's uh, water like this uh, yeah. you can Rain drink water, yeah. but now you can drink all the time ah. so that is the new so they're they're water. pumping the river and processing it and then the umbla river umbla 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 oh yeah i am struck by the cleanliness of this place it's very very clean it's beautiful and it's very picturesque just you know just one of those little sleeper countries that you never really you really you never really think about traveling to but croatia is beautiful we're, we're walking along this old it's a mansion compound and you know these are all abandoned now get the war in the 90s they just kind of everything got bombed out and they never rebuilt them but um they're still here and you know they're usually scattered along the river because it's the most it's the most picturesque area. There's Double D's back. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is the way to do it, dude. Yeah. Personal touch. Look at look at that river, man. Look at how clean and just perfect, just crystal clear. All the old yes. gear mechanisms for the for the dam. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. And this is just sort of percolating out of the rock, out of the mountain, which is literally, it's just straight up that, that mountain. Mm -hmm. So this was around here probably, they hit it? Yeah. Let me check that out. Yeah, look at that. Too. And it broke Carol's boat. It hit right about there. Artillery, <laughs> man. We don't mess around. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. War pretty much screws up everything, doesn't it? What war was this? This is a. You remember the war in Croatia? You don't remember yeah. that? Yeah. You know, 91 to 96. Yeah, that was. Love that. He used to sell ABS. Uh. Leave it, leave it to Double D and Dave to go to the shit pump area. <laughs> those are, those are sewage pumps. Yeah. See all the crap in them? Yeah. Thank you. Around this corner, it's about like the area. Yeah, you can help the so make beach like this. I can't say enough about uh, the beauty of Croatia, Dubrovnik in particular, and the Umba. Umba. This is the exit of Umba River? Yes. Exit to the Adriatic. Yeah. The Umba River and uh, the beauty of this little area. You know, of course, uh, they all have the same problems we do. Bunch of evil people at the top. <laughs> running the country but um you know in the meantime the people they take care of things they keep their economy going they're the ones that contribute to everything but just beautiful beautiful city clearly the these people care about it they care about uh the city is very clean and, and very uh very beautiful so far and we're not done yet 
too small to kill life for the sheep. Here you have a small broken church, in this island nobody living. And now you have a colochet, lockwood, sheep plant, myriad, and four islands, very broad. You think that it's the one, but it's After that, going court line. Yeah, these here? Yes. Individual islands? Yes. You have a school, you have a hotel, people who live in the area. And we are here, King's Landing. Okay, cue the music. I can't remember how it goes. But for those of you Game of Thrones fans, there it is. There's King's Landing. The old city of Dubrovnik. Welcome to King's Landing, my dear. So Debbie, you're at King's Landing. How do you feel? Excited. Excited. It's very exciting. Debbie, ice cream cone, and we are at the port of King's Landing. It looks different because everything's CGI'd out. This is the closing scene. For those of you Game of Thrones fans, this is the closing scene for Game of Thrones. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. You kind of have it in this direction somewhere, where you can see that fortification in the background. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view here. I'll just keep the camera going this way. You can see and this beautiful, Adriatic clear water. Just beautiful picturesque. You can see why they chose this as a site. And they probably CGI'd something in this area. If you look on the on the shelf. It does have little steps down to the port. I can't tell which is the you know the best. I mean there's different kinds of beauty, right? There's you know, the rugged beauty of Greece, uh, azure blue water. Uh, and then there's this the old time charm of the old city of Dubrovnik, AKA King's Landing, which according to the locals, it's made it a lot more popular, uh, a destination for tourism because of that program. I really like this place. Uh, people are oh, not quite as friendly as some of the Greeks and actually the Greeks too, uh, not not the most hospitality conscious as somebody who comes from you know Orlando, hospitality city. But nevertheless, rugged beauty and uh, just a really cool place to come to. So I'm glad we stopped. I mean, and really all you need is a day. Come in, uh, get a cab. That's what we did. Do not take the shuttle off the cruise ship. Just go get a local local driver. We paid 130 euros for like a two hour trip, and he just took us all over the sites. And I, that's where I got all those those images. Uh, so just skip the skip the shuttle altogether. Shuttle's going to bring you to Old Town, which is cool. A lot of people want to come here. Let me turn it around. You can see it's cool looking, but you know 
they're here to take your hard-earned American dollars. That's that's what that's what this is all about. That looks familiar, huh? See, the beauty of this is when they're inside these walls, they can block out all the modern stuff, you know? I said that's where the girl got blew up at. When the church, that the whole thing blew up. They said all the... Oh, the yeah. The, the uh, dragon girl? Jeffrey, the woman he wanted to be with. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that view, huh? Oh, Game of, Game of Thrones exchange. I don't know what that means. Oh, there you go. All right, guess where Debbie went? Yeah. Game of Thrones. Official merchandise center. What can I say? Beautiful here. There's a shot going the other way. What do I think of this cruise? Uh, I got a Norwegian, as usual, uh, did a great job. Service is phenomenal on Norwegian, which is why we usually travel. We've already booked uh, for next year. We don't know where we're going yet, but uh, we booked our coupons and uh, we'll decide. It's probably going to be Double D's decision because, you know, he dominates every conversation. Oh, sorry. I want to know if you want a t-shirt. Oh. So, yeah, I'm sure she's in there spending money. I got nowhere to put anything now. I'm full. Uh, anyway, um, Norwegian did a great job. We had an issue at the at the, at the the port originally, but uh, that worked out okay. After, at the end of the day, uh, overall, great trip. My recommendation is don't do the excursions. I mean, unless you get them for free or credited through the cruise line, I mean, you're kind of better off just firing, finding a local driver, a local cab, and they're usually camped out at the docks because they know 3,000 people are getting off the ship. And uh, so it's, you know, you just get, you get to see a lot more and you don't have to, you know, pile into a sweaty bus with a million other people. So it's just the six of us and we got a bus. Well, we got a small minivan and uh, it worked out great. So yeah, uh, great job, Norwegian. The transfers were a little tough because we had to go from Venice to Trieste, which is a two-hour bus ride. Other than that, once we're on the ship, you know, it's, it's 
what they call freestyle sailing. They're there to, to assist. You don't have to bring any money with you. Everything's included. Our drink package is included. And, uh, you know, you, just, you have to pay for extra over and above. But other than that, it was a good deal. So Norwegian, thumbs up. Great job. And uh, we're coming to a close. It's too bad. It went by quick. So maybe in the next few months, we'll discover what's next. A lot of scenes filmed here on these stairs. Shame. Shame. Oh, he's in. He's quick. He's in a hurry. Left the door open. I bet the engine's running too. <laughs> wow. This is everywhere you look. Architecture galore. This is making me hot. Okay, that was that way we came in, so. Oh yeah, we can go right up that field there. Wow. This is just too cool looking, isn't it? Look at them. Cheering for great joy. The camera's just not gonna capture the essence of this. There's a lot of scenes with the you know these stairs in the, in the show. But the stairs, that, you know, those old winding stairs are always on. I mean, thank God their Civil War, 91 to 96, didn't destroy this place. It's still here, it's still vibrant. It's maintained, it's beautiful, it's clean. You can convert a lot of these old buildings to shops. But you know, we're not just, it's not just tourists here, it's, um, the locals are here too. You can you can see them. You know they're. This is still their city, and they still come for lunch. And oh, there it is. There's the stairs. Hey, coming up on the channel, I'm going to be traveling to Indianapolis from Orlando. It's going to be one of my my first big cross country trips. About four and a half hours. I'm gonna try to get the cameras all warmed up and get that thing taped, get some more cockpit video, and maybe even have time to uh, go through the Garmin flight deck while I'm there. Because um, I wanna do a little, on what I've learned, you know, as a, as a relatively new IFR pilot, what I've learned uh, with the Garmin flight deck. So stay tuned for that, it's coming up uh, as soon as I get all this video footage cut from the trip. Hey, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Subscribe and like if you're enjoying the videos. And we're going to do a little bit of aviation, a little bit of lifestyle and travel. And I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Welcome to Westeros, King's Landing, Dubrovnik, Croatia. The, the market still accepts it. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you, that they will ever join the EU?
the Dubrovnik is not eating out of you, right? Okay, we are a small country. Yeah. We need the European Union, but for us it's better to stay outside. But yeah. it's not possible. Because European Union have thousands, thousands of stupid rules. Yep. Thousands of stupid rules. That's why, uh, that's why the UK pulled out. Yes. My name is Dario Chanic from Dubrovnik, Croatia, and I look at what the fly channel. So the party's over. We're leaving Dubrovnik, headed back to Trieste. Tomorrow we put our bags out by the by the room and we're back home. Went by too fast. Don't you agree, Double D? Yeah. Too fast. In the meantime, look at the view we got. To Greece may be coming to an end, but we got some great things in store. In about two weeks, I need to go to a trade show in Indy, so I am going to bring the cameras with me and tape that uh, trip. Orlando and Indianapolis, a four and a half hour flight, but pretty big flight for me for this new plane. I haven't gone that far in this plane by myself, so I'll be filming that. In about four more weeks, uh, we're going to be coming back to Europe and actually back to Germany and Oktoberfest, my first ever. So Debbie and I alone will be at that. I'll try to get some great uh, content for you there. So for now, Greek Isles is over. Onward to the next exciting adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Ring the bell if you want to be uh, notified as I drop these videos, especially now that these are done and I've got other things in the hopper. You should see more. Of course, you're gonna see this probably in another month's time. Those will be done. But uh, make sure you ring the bell uh, for those notifications. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Quantum Fly.